The RCMP say they've stopped what could have been a catastrophic attack on the Jewish community. Little is known about the terror suspect. The person is a minor and therefore shielded by a publication ban. It's alleged they instructed someone to carry out an attack with an explosive device. The tension, the fear among Jewish residents is very high. The city's mayor is promising more protective measures. We've been increasing patrols around synagogues and other uh, Jewish institutions. Community leaders fear the threat is rising. Anti-Semitism has skyrocketed since October 7th, and I've been saying it over and over again. If things aren't going to get better, they're going to get worse, and here they got worse. The Mounties report an uptick in youth radicalization, saying in a statement there's a concerning trend of violent extremism and terrorist use of the Internet. Since June 2023, the RCMP has arrested five young persons on terrorism-related offenses. If the whole Israeli-Hamas conflict hadn't happened, we wouldn't be having this conversation. This terrorism expert says the war and how it's portrayed on social media is driving some teenagers into the arms of recruiters. You meet other people who share your point of view, who confirm it, who urge you on to do even more, get involved more in the ideas, to uh, solidify your views legitimate it. Wow, look, I'm not alone. All these other people feel this way too. Ottawa's Muslim community is on edge, says this local imam. Whenever there is a threat against uh, anyone, including our Jewish neighbors, uh, that is deeply concerning to all of us. Sikander Hashmi says the brutal scenes out of the Israel-Gaza conflict have stirred up anger and frustration. Clearly, uh, these types of uh, horrific uh, tragedies and horrific instances of, of war and pain and grief can certainly be used uh, to try to radicalize young people. It's flooding their social media streams. Um, it's, um, it, it, we're not in a, in a good place right now. JP, police are raising awareness now about these threats, but what kind of action is being taken? Ian, there's been a spike in hate crimes across the country. Hundreds of incidents have been reported to police since the October 7th attack, including dozens in Ottawa. The federal government has chipped in some $5 million to bolster security at religious and cultural sites, but community leaders say they need a lot more than that to keep people safe. Ian? J.P. Tasker reporting from Ottawa.